Go High Level Wizard here, and now I'm gonna be showing you how to set up surveys in Go High Level. Before we jump in though, please go right down below, smash the subscribe button if you have any questions at all, drop a comment down below, or message me for free on Facebook. So we're gonna come right to Sites, then you're gonna come right to Surveys, okay? And you'll be brought to a page that looks just like this. First though, I just want to go through what a survey is, okay, and how it's different than a form. So beginners, pay attention, advanced people, bear with me. A Go High Level survey helps collect detailed feedback like customer satisfaction or market research. It lets you ask different questions based on answers and organizes everything automatically, saving time. Ideal for getting insights from clients or customers. Insane data point to leverage. Now, this is a big one because I get this question a lot. Is a survey a form and is a form a survey? They're very different. And I'm also going to show you examples. In Go High Level, forms are simple tools to collect basic information like contact details or signups. They're quick and easy to fill out. Surveys are more advanced and help gather detailed feedback or opinions with more question types and the ability to ask different questions based on answers. Surveys are better for things like customer feedback or research, while forms are good for simple tasks like lead capture. This is what a form looks like, okay? It is just straightforward and it's just everything on one page and you click claim offer. This is a survey. It goes from page to page to page. And guys, again, the big thing about surveys is they're very simply set up so it looks like you're not doing a lot. And then you just keep moving. See, a form, it's everything right there and it's on one page and you just claim offer. For surveys, on the other hand, it's like one question at a time and you're sliding through. So it's almost like more gamified, funner to do. So they, they are very different. I mean, again, forms, much simpler, much shorter. Surveys, they look shorter, but they're actually way longer. So here we are in the survey builder page. So the first thing I want to do is just walk you through what these three options are. Builder is where you are build your surveys and basically edit them. Analyze, this is where you will see all of the data. Okay, so not submissions, but this is data to see, you know, when, you know, stuff is going on. It's basically an analytics dashboard. Submissions is all the people that have submitted at exactly what time. So you can collect their info and scrape it and whatnot. So these are the three places you will go and have access to. So to create a survey, we're just going come right in here and click add survey so you can choose from a template or start from scratch so if you start from scratch as you will see right here okay it is just completely blank and you just add all of the elements in now to create one from a template you make it look much much nicer so we're just going to do choose from a template okay and again you pick whatever you want but we're going to pick this one because like the way it looks we're going to click continue and it will basically assemble the template so here we are. So the first thing as always, name it what you want. Again, this builder is the exact same thing as the email template builder, the form builder. It's all the same exact builder. So I'm gonna be loosely going over how the builder works. I have more in-depth videos on that just because it's the same thing. If you don't understand how any of High Level works, please go to my channel and watch the, the videos on literally how the rubric works. Um, I'm assuming you know though, but I'll still give you a quick run through. So. Basically, you just add elements, and this is where you're going to add everything, and we're going to basically customize said form. It's all through the elements on the left-hand side. You have all this info on this side. So you have all personal info, as you see, full name, last name, date of birth, phone, email, all that stuff. You have all address info. You have any sort of text fields, choice elements, and then customized or other elements. And this is great for putting in all kinds of stuff, as you see here. And from there, you just put in what you want. Then you have custom fields, which I have a full video on this. These are just making up fields that aren't here. So it could be like favorite ice cream. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you can just add that right like that. It's a cool little feature and you just build that out just like that. And then you would add that field depending on what you're trying to do. So for the survey, this looks pretty good. We're just gonna add one in just to show you. So you literally, just to add any elements on the left-hand side, you would just come right here and you just drag and drop and boom, it's done, okay? So from there, we're just gonna go, okay, I like this, this is cool. And then we basically have our survey done. So again, quick re recap. To add any elements, to build out your survey or add anything, you would just come right here on the left-hand side, drag and drop whatever you want to add. Okay, and if you want to add extra slides, you just click add slide. That way you can fill out, you know, your um, new thing, however you want to do that. But we're not going to do that for the sake of the video because we don't need it. But again, that's how you would do it. You would just click that little plus and add as many slides as you want. Because again, 
I don't know what niche you're in. You could do anything, but just get creative with it and realize you can do so much stuff. For the sake of the video, we're just going to use this. Okay, so this looks nice. Now we're going to add basically extra customization. So once you add from the left-hand side, you will go and click. And then on the right-hand side, you'll get all of the um, extra descriptors and extra editing. So basically you have label name, which is right there, full name. So you could do this as you see, and it changes just like that up there. You have placeholder, which is the name right in there. So again, as you see, you're adding it right there. Okay, then you have short label and query key, which are stuff for basically uh, anchoring and all kinds of stuff. Then you basically have required or hidden. This just makes it so you have to put something in. And basically you have all different kinds of options like that. Then you can edit the form, okay, so the way it looks right through here also. So you have all this cool stuff, okay? And again, I go in depth on other videos. I'm just gonna breeze through this because it's the same thing across high level. You have styles, themes, and options. So styles is basically moving stuff around, kind of the aesthetic look of it. Themes is then plugging in how do you want to look. But again, since we are already using a form, we wouldn't need to add another theme because we already have a theme, which is the real estate theme. But again, if you were doing blank and you wanna quickly add a theme, you just come in here and go uh, use theme, and then you would just do proceed, and then it would change it to be looking just like that. But we don't want that, so we're gonna undo that. But again, that's where you would add it. And then options is basically what happens to the submission. So how does it work after? So again, you have stuff with, you know, creating stuff with, you know, partial context. So if they only fill out a little bit of info, what happens after they submit, okay? You know, you can do it, disqualify immediately, disqualify after submit, anything with Facebook ads, and then basic survey settings. So do you want one question at a time, which you can add more? Do you want it sticky, you know, kind of hovering with you? Uh, any sort of auto uh, navigation and scroll to the top and basic just customization things. Everything to edit is on this right-hand side. So even this, if you come all the way down to color and background, you will see this image right here. And you can change the image by just clicking this and adding whatever image you want. So it's very easy. It's very straightforward, guys, to build surveys. I mean, you can literally just go through right here and you're done. So right now, as I explained before, we have all of our surveys done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click save. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to preview it to make sure everything is looking good. So once they fill out this, it's gonna go to the next, the next, the next. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this bad boy live. Now that you have your survey completely done, okay, so you went through, you added all the elements and, and whatnot on this left-hand side, you further customized the way you want it to look and, and extra settings like that. Now we have to add it either to a website or as a link. So the way we're gonna do that is you're gonna click integrate and you're gonna get options. So you can either embed this on a website or you can link it. So I'm gonna show you both ways so you can actually get this bad boy up and running. Okay, so you can add this to forms, emails, a bunch of different stuff, but for the sake of the video, we're just gonna be adding it to a website, okay? So you can just see the idea. And again, it translates across everything, but you just come right here to sites, okay? We're going to come right to websites, and we're gonna come right to real estate wholesaling. Remember, we built that one in real estate. We're just gonna click this right here. I'm showing you the example, okay? Once this loads, we're gonna slap it right in. Okay, so we have our website open. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back right here to this you know, little form pop-up. And again, to get this, you just click integrate and you have embedded or link. So first thing we're gonna do is embed it on a website. So we're gonna copy to clipboard. We're gonna come right back here, come right in here. We're gonna do code. We're gonna put this right here, okay? You're gonna go into open code editor and all you're gonna do is paste this bad boy, then click save. Then you're gonna click save up here. Okay, and then you're going to preview it to show you that it is live. So we're gonna preview it. And boom, right there, survey is done. How awesome is that? Now again, if you go right in here and you're like, oh, I don't want it to be like that, we can just get rid of that, okay? And we can just connect it to a link. So we're gonna do join newsletter. I'll scroll all the way down here to actions. We're gonna do website URL. Then we're gonna come back right here. We're gonna to go to link. Um, we're gonna copy said link. Come right back here. I'm gonna paste this right in here. Okay, and you can open a new tab if you want or not. So we're gonna click save. Okay. And then we're gonna click this. And we're gonna click this. And boom, you now have it done. So you can link this to anything. How awesome is that? You can add it and it's as simple as that. Again, you just have to go right back here to integrate and that's where you basically get that option. 
Now let's test it out so we can see how the form submissions work. So let's come right in here and add some stuff. So we'll just do blah, blah, blah. That'll just be our date. We click next. Our email will be Declan at gmail.com. We're going to click next. Our phone number is going to be 54035. We're going to do I agree to terms and conditions provided by company. Then we're going to click submit. Okay. Boom. You're done. And remember, you can customize this page. And I showed you how to do that earlier in the video. So if you're curious how to make this page look different, so it says, yay, thank you for doing the survey, blah, blah, blah. You just add it like that. So now we have it done. But now let's see where this survey got collected. Because again, I went over that, but I want to show you. So again, come down to sites, go to surveys, and now we're going to go to analyze. So boom, now it's no longer blank. You have this cool page that's an analytic page. You can see, okay, we had a submission. Awesome. And it was from this exact form. How cool is that? Then and again, you can pick the times as always. Then in submissions, you have all these in-depth analytics. I mean, you can see everything. Name, date, birth, IP address. I mean, it's everything. So it's really that simple. So guys, that's all you have to do to get these set up either for your clients or yourself. And again, these can be so powerful for collecting super important info, but also for doing sort of sales things to gauge, you know, whether or not your customers want this or that, that way you can give them a better product. That's it in a nutshell, guys. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in high level or really learning more about this and becoming good at selling and all this other stuff, I have a 30 day free trial link down below. Not a 14-day, an exclusive 30-day free trial link where you'll get all kinds of goodies, snapshots, help from me, everything, and access to a potential partnership idea where we'll really go in-depth together on this in high level. But all you got to do is go down below and sign up with that. For questions, you can drop a comment down below or message me for free on Facebook. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, go high-level wizard out.